Why is there turmoil in Libya? The people in Libya have been living under a closed political system run by Colonel Gaddafi and his cronies for nearly 40 years. Under that system, they have experienced incredibly harsh restrictions on human rights and civil liberties, basic fundamental freedoms. Many are saying that the current situation in Libya is a result of uprisings in neighboring countries of Tunisia and Egypt. What does the outcome look like at this point? The situation in Libya has gotten incredibly tense. There's an incredible crisis going on within the country, a lot of violence, and hundreds of thousands of refugees streaming towards the borders. Gaddafi's d days are likely numbered, but the question is exactly how many remain. There is no opposition movement to speak of, no civil society, no institutions that are viable. And so once he goes, the question is, how can we help move Libya towards a viable democratic state? How can the United States help? The United States has played a very important role in recent days. Senior diplomats have been engaged at the highest levels. We've been coordinating closely with the international community. And as we move forward and as the situation continues to escalate in Libya, it's incredibly important that we stay engaged, that we seek immediate response to the violence and to the humanitarian situation, but that we also begin taking steps to plan for a long-term uh, recovery which will include political transition, setting up uh, institutions, and working to build a strong, functional state in North Africa.